Hey guys, today we're gonna have a look at how to make this animation using Blender. It's uh, pretty easy to make, so let's begin the process. So for the animation, uh, I used this car model, downloaded it from Sketchfab. You can find the link in the description in order to download this car model. It's totally free, so you can use it. And I have some more models as well, which is some grass models. Let me just show you where I have put them. Yeah, they are in the side. I have a grass model with some flowers and other small vegetations. You can use any kind of model you wish. So I'm just showing you how to do this effect. So let's begin it. So the first thing first uh, I have done is uh, I have separated the car from the tires because uh, I will be able to use it. And I don't want to move it. That is why. And I have not rigged it. So for the animation, we're gonna add a sphere. Why we're adding sphere? Let me show you. Uh, because I want to make a wet paint mask. And how to make it? Let's uh, begin it. So let's shift A, add a sphere. Just uh, scale it up and go to Z axis. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. Grab it on a Z axis. Scale it up and then uh, grab it on a Y axis. Something like this and expand this uh, timeline okay so now uh, I'm gonna select uh, the car model and uh, I will go to the physics tab add a dynamic band add a canvas this is canvas and add canvas scroll down and uh, the surface type from pan to width because we want to make a wet band that is why okay so select this fair come to physics dynamic band and from canvas to brush and then add brush scroll down and change uh, these from mesh volume to proximity and yeah uh, okay so now in order to make a wet paint animation or a wet paint mask we need to animate this sphere so hit i and add a location keyframe to the sphere and then go to 100 frame uh, and then grab it on a y-axis uh, something like this let me just grab it yeah and then hit I to add a location keyframe and as you can see we have animated the sphere why is that because uh, we want to animate this and now select the car come to the output of the dynamic band and hit this plus icon and hit the back button so it will be backed yeah so now our wet paint animation is ready. If we go to the wet paint, as you can see, we have animated the wet paint, and it's uh, pretty easy, you know. And now uh, it's time to change this fair visibility to a bond, so we will be able to see stuff through these because it's now looking really bad in the viewport. So change the texture to bounds in the object data properties tab, okay? And yeah so we're gonna hide this from render as well because we don't want to render the sphere now select the car come to particle system add a new particle add a here advanced and then scroll down to render and select uh, collection uh, the type of it okay collection and now we will make a collection from our vegetation so select all of them and uh, hit m new collection and name it like a gross okay so hit okay then select the car again and uh, scroll down in the collection select the collection that we just uh, created so select grass and you will see that we have grass everywhere on the car so now we will change and tweak some settings in the particle system so like pick uh, random and also turn on the rotation uh okay so come up and turn on rotation change this type to normal and uh yeah so now it's not looking good let's just bump up the number but before doing so we will just increase the scale and also the scale randomness to make it random uh okay so it's not perfect at all you can tweak some settings uh like uh hit go to edit mode and hit shift n in order to recalculate the normals and it might uh, make it better if it's not then change the type from normal to global y it will definitely make your particle system good and now scroll down to the vertex group and select the length and select the vertex 
group that we just created something like this and we will have this animation and it's pretty easy you know uh, we have just selected the vertex group that we just created by animating the sphere and that's it so now we will just turn off everything so we will be able to see what we have in the viewport as you can see we have something looks pretty nice yeah okay go to render view come to the ren uh, rendering properties change the cycles come to the world setting select an hdri uh, to lighten up the scene so i'm just selecting uh, one of my hdri so okay here we go i'm gonna select that one and i have added it it's not looking perfect at the moment uh, because i've not selected the perfect hdri but it's totally up to you what kind of look you want you maybe wanted a dark or you know or something else but we are just up to our animation not our lighting so that's why uh, and we have got the result that we are looking for and i think the number of the particle is very less so increase it to something like uh, 5000 maybe and yeah it will have a dense look that looks pretty nice okay so it's looking good so guys consider subscribe thanks